President Donald Trump is currently on his first foreign trip, but is he trying to steer attention from issues back home? The president is currently in Saudi Arabia meeting with local leaders and in just a few minutes will deliver a major speech on fighting terrorism at the Arab Islamic American Summit. President Trump will also meet with Pope Francis this week as part of his nine-day trip. But back here at home, there are calls for President Trump's impeachment. Congressman Al Green is calling for impeachment after major bombshells dropped in regards to the firing of James Comey and the investigation into Michael Flynn. While President Trump continues to try and dominate the news cycle overseas, Comey will testify before the Senate. So can the president move past these domestic controversies? Will this trip help President Trump move past the drama at home? That's our topic this half hour. We always like to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can tweet me at Sally Mack, Fox 26. Joining us here live in our studio, our senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico, who leads the panel, Democratic media consultant, Mustafa Tamiz, and Republican strategist and public policy analyst, Jackie Bally. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So can he move past these domestic issues? Well, we're going to see, you know, those of us who are old enough to remember, which would be me, um, in the height of the Watergate scandal, uh, Richard Nixon went to China and opened, uh, opened up trade with that communist country and it, it, it at least slowed at the time that investigation and gave him some breathing room for a period of time. I don't think that President Trump's t uh, timing of this had anything to do with the Comey thing because the trip was planned long before all this started. So I don't think it's fair to say that he planned this trip because of the Comey thing because all the, the trip was well in advance. But it, history says that when, you, when a president takes a foreign trip like this, it helps him at home. Well, this is part of his duties, part of his duties as President of the United States, and um, I think it's very telling that he's demonized in his own country, but they're treating him like a rock star in Saudi Arabia. If you look at the footage that we're seeing on, at Fox News, the president, the president of Saudi Arabia greeted him at the tarmac, something he does not do. He has bestowed on him one of the highest out honors of that country, something he does not normally do. And so the, a lot of the Muslim leaders have been treating him like a rock star, which is contrary to what a lot of mainstream media would be saying that they would do. Um, the, the king is, is a monarch. He's not an elected representative of his people. Many of the people there, unfortunately, are dictators and authoritarian, and, and the fact that the President Trump feels very comfortable with them, dancing with them, uh, the Secretary of State is dancing with swords with them, uh, is not going to make the rest of the Muslim world or, or anyone else feel all that comfortable. The, the challenge that the President has is not with dictators because he seems to like them. The problem he's got is with the vast majority of people around the world that see him as a threat. Does it help the president in the, in the rest of the Muslim countries there that he is, is so comfortable with a country that you couldn't go into, you can't go in, you can't drive, you can't vote, they, they discriminate against women in that country? Well, his wife, as you've seen, she's the first first lady who's gone gone to that country she has not worn any of the headgear she is she is um, shaking hands with the leader she's looking directly at them and the fact that the president that's said that's my wife and she's going to represent our country the way that any other woman would represent our country I think is very telling of our president you know it's not and the I first. think it's his job to go into different countries of different cultures and to represent us well and that's what he's doing but that's not the first first lady that did that because when Michelle Obama went there and didn't wear a head headdress Donald Trump criticized her for it. Um, you have many this, pictures floating around the this, box showing Mich we Michelle go, Obama with a headdress. We gotta go to uh, gotta go to gotta go to Sally real quick. But but how does how does how does Donald Trump does this help Donald Trump with with his God, let me go to Sally. I'll come back to you. I lost my train of thought. We go to Sally. She's on our social media. Hey, that's all right. A tweet from Mustafa here showing uh, Representative Jean, uh, Al Green's meeting yesterday calling for his impeachment. Janine Jacks also says impeach Al Green. His uh, mouth is just trying to get in the limelight. And then Kathleen says Al Green is a hero for asking to impeach Donald Trump. Brave man working for the people. Again, our local Houston Congressman Al Green uh, had a packed town hall yesterday to talk about impeaching Trump. He's the first member of the House to call for impeachment. Now let's, let's talk about that. Uh, Al Green uh, took to the floor of the House uh, last week and called for impeachment uh, of Donald Trump. And, and, and there have been Republicans that said we are in impeachment territory. Mm -hmm. I think that having followed politics my entire adult life, I think it is far too early for elected officials to be saying let's impeach Donald Trump. Well, what Al Green says that he's not trying to persuade 
any Democrats or any Republicans. He's just saying, I am living up to my conscience based on what I believe. I believe this impeachable offense. Now, if other people agree, they will join the bill. If they don't, they won't. I when, know, when, I when, hang on, hang on. When, when, when Hillary Clinton, when the Republicans thought Hillary Clinton was going to win, there were members of the House, Republican members of the House, that said when, when she gets inaugurated on Inauguration Day, I will file articles of impeachment. What's the difference? She was under investigation. Uh, there were many people that thought that she had done many things wrong. Uh, you had uh, uh, the uh, Loretta Lynn Scott, or Loretta Lynn. Lynch. Lynch, thank you, um, on the plane with her husband discussing her discussion during that time. Uh, the president, they have been uh, brought on a special counsel. He is not under the investigation that Hillary Clinton was at that time. Now, with all of that said, I know Congressman Al Green, he's a gentleman, he's a nice gentleman. 30 seconds. Um, the same way Mustafa said that certain people are pandering to their folks, that's exactly what this congressman is doing with this, with his speeches. I, I think that he won't admit that now. It's, it's not that he won't admit that I didn't file the bill. Congressman Al Green filed the bill. Well, there was no bill he filed. He was just a speech. He, but you know, he said he will be filing a bill for impeachment. So, so the, the, look, the, the long and the short of it is the president that all the things that Jackie has described has done far worse things that have been documented right. than have been accused by Hillary. We're going to leave it right there. We'll be back next week wrapping up the hottest stories of the week. All right. Enjoy your Sunday. Thanks so much, guys.